Hello there. Let's speak to the mayor. Let's get this all sorted. Forgive us our lateness. Hello, Master everyone. Chai, my congratulations on your appointment. By all accounts, you are a capable mayor. Oh, oh I have capable friends, my lady. I must say, it's good to see you looking hale and whole again. The credit for that lies with my own capable friend, without whom I might never have escaped my abductor. Abductor? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, no one, everyone is shocked. Good. Just casually drop that. Yeah. They have doors here on Ilmore, like this upstairs where everything's open. All this fucking wind will be just like whoosh, coming right through here. Don't mind me, Mayor. I was just murdering a all my primal. friends. No, shut up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Explain why like the true has warrior been of faith in the warrior of light. While you were enjoying your audience with the wandering heart of Zodiac, we were busy dispatching the last of the Black Master Asians. A task which proved almost insultingly easy. Hmm. Formidable though we undoubtedly are, they were obviously sent to provide encouragement for budding heroes. One cannot help but wonder how many times the ploy has been used before. Hmm. Master Chai, you mentioned that the people of Colusia are similarly enamored of the Warrior of Light. Indeed, though it's hardly surprising given the state of the world. Many are still struggling to find a purpose, and it's only natural that they should take comfort in the tales. Then the fever has spread to every corner of Norvrent. We may have dealt with his black-masked minions, but it is plain Elidibus has yet to show his hand. Oh my! What a spit! Spectacular sky! It's very windy, Miss Julia Chai. What do you mean? Oh, wait. Is it a star shower again? Same thing again. Another star shower? Wait. Oh. Amarat. Why is he showing that? Oh. Well, what? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did you hear that? That voice calling out? No, I didn't hear anything, but... Stupefied citizen, more like a stupid citizen. <laughs> Why do I feel so like I've lost something dear to me? Does Elidibus seek to awaken more people to the Echo with clearer visions of the final days? Wow. Whoa. Okay. Whoever they are, they've come for our heads. No, you don't. Ha! They are not of flesh and blood. I know this magic. Is the same summoning magic the that winds are like unto those that the, the Exarch, Exarch yeah. employ in our summoning. What the fuck? Are you saying the Exarch is summoning them? No, he wouldn't be. Yet the similarity can be no mere coincidence. Hmm. 
Hmm. Should we make a stand here or retreat to the Crystarium? The ether churns around us. More of them will appear ere long. Crystarium, then? Mm. To stay would only place innocence in harm's way. We must fight this battle elsewhere. Wait! Take one of our airships. You can decide what to do on your flight to the Crystarium. You are a capable leader in your own right, Master Chai. The citizens of Yulmore chose well. No. No. It's settled then. To the airship. A moment of lovely humbling in, uh, in that. The heck did I come back to? Something's about to happen. Um, basically, the world-ending thing has come along, and loads of people of light have come down to try and I kill think us. That's the last of them. We're trying to get back to the Crystarium. I don't know what's going on though. Like in general. Apparently, even they have limits. Nevertheless, we should remain vigilant. Urianger, something occurred to me while we were fighting. These enemies. Are heroes hailing from other shards, summoned hither to deliver this world from its doom. Scant moments after the star shower did they appear, as yet more souls were inspired to walk the hero's path, no doubt. Thus did hopes for salvation of realms near and far resonate and converge, lending still greater strength unto our adversary. So that's Elidibus's game. But first things first. If the rings are the same as the Exarchs, then we need to ask him how that's possible. Yeah, what the fuck? The Crystarium is close. Let us press on. They come. Oh shit. That's a lot. So near and yet so far. In the chaos of conflict, one can always find an opening to exploit. <laughs> Whoever taught you that is a wise man indeed, and good with a gun blade. But yes, <laughs> I dare say we can create an opening wide enough for at least one of us to slip through. That being you, of course. No others are welcome to follow in your wake. Reen and I will keep our guests occupied. Really? That many? <clears throat> Brave and selfless as ever. Yet the two of you may struggle to fool our foes, etherically sensitive as they are. Had you a comrade who could use destructive magics to wreak havoc upon the ambient ether, on the other hand? <laughs> Very well. I too shall assist in the diversionary effort. <laughs> all right, Scions, all right, we're being cool. Oh, not this old <clears throat> dance again. Yes, obviously, I'll stay and fight. <laughs> Alphano, I'm about to do a great many stupid and reckless things. Watch my back, would you? And there you have it. Take care of yourself, my friend. Oh boy. <laughs> you don't have enough lives for this. <laughs> That's what it's, it's, <laughs> I mean, no, you have to pick the first one. That's, no. that's the best answer. No. That's what my. Rest that's what I was pulled to. No intention of expending okay, Jacob, no spoilers, today. please. I'm only just. I'm only like. I am a fair bit after the first dungeon, but like. Finished? Then let's begin. I haven't gotten to the first trial yet. Ha! 
Whoa. What the hell? Okay, Alice. Alright. A short while earlier in the ocular. Oh no. What now? Oh, okay. Getting serious. It's always serious. Tis done. Oh, let me see, let me see. Preserved safely within. We've done it. We've done it at last. <sighs> I have inspected the other vessels. They are all ready to receive of our friends' memories. I have poor boilers, don't you worry. Nice. Excellent. Thank you, Jenko. I shall have my familiars bear word to them at once. I hope you're enjoying. Yeah. And Walker. Oh no. No, bad timing. Elidibus. It was not until I observed the battle between Emmet Selk and the Warrior of Darkness that I realized what I must do. I will summon heroes from other worlds unto the first. Just as you did. Their presence shall serve to empower me, granting me the strength to crush my enemy. Though it pains me to disappoint you, I feel compelled to explain that the magic in question requires no small amount of preparation. Ah. But you assume I require my champions to be summoned in their entirety? I do not. Their souls needn't even be whole. My purpose requires no more than their burning desire to vanquish evil. This I shall sear upon the ether, raising thereby an army of phantom heroes to whom I shall whisper, as I have to so many over the ages. I'm smelling, I'm smelling burnt toast. I hope I'm not Here having, something's happening with me. <laughs> Somebody make toast. Be destroyed. I know I'm getting enamored in this story and it's, it's really and kind of pulling me in, but holy shit, let's calm down, shall we? <laughs> anyway. I do not require your cooperation. Um, your death will suffice. No. The magic I shall have from your corpse. No. Go, Lucas! We must flee! Oh. Oh shit. That's how he got it. It's uh, so much to him cry my eyes out, so Final Fantasy. Thank god Elizabeth's VA delivers so well. Yeah, his voice is a lot more intimidating than Emmett's. Emmett's was like definitely had an effect, but Elizabeth's is like got that deep. Intimidating. I mean, I mean, I well, I think both have their own charms. I, it's hard to. Oh compare. yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, 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 like Emma Selk's voice actor is also really fucking good. <gasps> right here. My friend, how did you? No matter, Elidibus. He took us unawares. Uh, Emmett is more popular than Sephiroth, let that sink in. 
Yeah, it, yeah, like, cause it's just, it's just the way he's portrayed, and the way, like, oh. he works oh, in the story on. is so good. Oh, that's not good. It was all we could do. To raise a wall to hinder his steps. And so we fled. But he took it. The vessel with the Exarch's memories. Forgive me. Forgive me. The vessel bears not only my memories, but my blood. The blood of Allegan royalty. Granting him the means to control the tower. <sighs> With it, he has performed I know not how many summonings. Calling forth heroes from across the rift. And, as you can see, the burden upon the tower is beginning to tell. I'm just glad you're alive and make sure you stay that way. If you mean to face him alone, I will not allow it. Not this time. <sighs> Elidipus has exploited the people's nobility. Twisted their purest intentions for terrible ends. And I cannot let it stand. As Exarch, it is my duty to protect them. To defend their hopes and dreams. So I am going to the Crystal Tower, with or without your blessing. Though, I would rather it were with. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I joined you, but I would only be a burden. Better that I remain here with my gremlins. Gremlins? I shall send help. Stay strong, my friend, and take heart. By binding Elidibus within the tower, we have done more than simply delay him. Much like our adversary, I am not wont to show my hand prematurely. But the time has come to bring my strongest card to bear. Oh? And what's that? To the tower! Enjoying the ride? Yeah. I will say though, <laughs> any time the sing like singing starts in probably any track in Final Fantasy, like any of the main ones. Oh, just oh goosebumps. It's almost time. <sighs> <laughs>